What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Apple Reviews. I'm Chris. I'm Joseph. And I'm Lucas. And this week we have an exciting Apple. We don't know what it is. <laughs> Apple has to set. What is the Apple this week? So the last week's hint, the answer was the red delicious apple. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. Oh, wow, delicious amazing. apple that happens to be red. So the first impression of this apple, I'm just gonna say it, it's red. It's very red. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking going into Honestly, it. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's a too dark red. I would like a bit brighter red. But I, I no. was also thinking that, okay. Joseph. That's an astute observation. The backside is darker than the, I guess, I don't know, you can really call it the back and front <laughs> side of an apple. <laughs> well, well, I'm glad we agree on something. We're gonna do the knock test here. So let's try it out, let's see. Oh man, it, it's pretty, uh... It makes a noise, that's for sure. It, Is it, it a good noise? It definitely does make a noise. I, it, honestly, it's not that great. It's okay. Honestly, mine's starting to like bruise and break as I... Yeah. It, so I guess that says it's a fragile apple. You ready? Cheers. Three, two, one. Oh God. <laughs> wow. That's sour. A little right. neutral. Right? What do you think? I wouldn't call this sour. I would not call it sour at all. Really? No. Honestly, I don't think this is a very strong apple in any sense. I don't think it's super sweet or super sour. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't really taste like anything. All right, we're going to break test. Three, two, one. Okay, that wasn't bad. That was actually pretty okay. good. Pretty clean yeah, that's break. Actually a pretty nice clean break. I'm like mixed on it because objectively speaking, this should be a good apple, right? But I just don't like the way it tastes. I think this would should probably be called the red neutral apple because I I mean yeah. I'm gonna be honest, this this quality of apples I do not like. An apple has to pick a side. It has to be sour. It has to be sweet. It can't just linger in the middle. There's nothing there. Let's give our scores for the red delicious apple. I don't really like it very much, and I even before we did this show and started reviewing the apples and became apple review professionals. I still didn't like this apple. It just doesn't taste good. And at the other day, if your name is Red Delicious, you better be delicious. <laughs> so, with that in mind, I've been giving the Red Delicious apple an X. Now, I don't hate it as much as you, but I still can't give it a super good score. I'm gonna go with a T on this one. We've all been harsh here, and I think this apple really deserves it. I just really don't like this apple. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna have to give it a Q. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another great episode of Apple Reviews. Next week, next time, whenever that is, we review another Apple. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great Apple. We don't know what it is yet. Only Apple Master Seth does. So with that in mind, we'll catch you on the next one.